Hey guys, the <laughs> BTR Plumbing here, and today I am with my 1968 Gothic Logo Cadet, and I don't know if you just heard that, but we are having a major thunderstorm, and it's been going on for like three days now, so you guys probably will be hearing a lot of thunder in the background and heavy rain, so I apologize, but I really need to get these videos out for you, so um, I really do apologize for any of the background noise. I can't really control it, but um, and as you can hear, the rain is starting to pick up and just flood everything, so... Um, yeah the tank is almost done filling as you can see it's got a this is a 1971 tank this is the oldest tank for a cadet that i had and i thought it did fit it really well um it's got a fluid master 200 a in there there's some thunder interrupting my video um uh, there's a tilt valve and then here's the gothic logo handle which isn't in the best shape but um here's the logo on the cadet itself and before you ask why this is not uh pouring water in here it's because since it's a tilt valve in here um it stays open until the entire tank is drained and that allows the bowl to refill all the way by itself without this. So I just put that to refill the tank to help it fill, fill excuse me, fill a little bit faster. But um, if I'm talking a little bit loud, again, I apologize. Um, I'm just trying to talk over the weather, but um, yeah, here's a flush. So as you can see, the fill valve, excuse me, the tilt valve just closed and it refilled the bowl all by itself. So um, that's why I'm not gonna use this because again, this actually puts out a lot of water. So I can just use that to help fill the tank in. The thunder is really starting to irritate me because it's making it almost impossible for me to film. But, and here's this cursed little combo of a, a Gerber North Point, um, or sorry, Gerber Ultra Flush on my cadet tank. This is not the pressure assist cadet tank. That's just my normal cadet tank with the, with an eco flush with a handle that didn't fit so um and then here's the athens from the other video with the really wow sorry guys i just really apologize about that thunder in the background and then here's the brakes for a trap toilet but the tank should almost be filled this is a really cool um fill valve i really like them i have like three of them and that's it but uh, i apologize for like all the dirt in here it's just i need to give it a muriatic acid bath there's a whole bunch of uh crap built up down there that was like really like hard and i couldn't get it off so i had to use the tiny last bit of acid i had to get it out so now i gotta go get some more muriatic acid but now i'm gonna do a, a view like this so you can see the tank i'm gonna do another flush like this so you can see the tilt valve in action here we go And for those of you who don't know how tilt valve works, basically there's a tiny little hole at the bottom of it down there. So when the tank is filled, obviously this little cylinder fills up with water. I don't know if y'all can hear me, but this little cylinder will fill up with water. So when it's lifted up, all the water will drain out of the tank and the water will slowly drain out of this tube until it's empty and that allows it to fall back down. But um, yeah, let's see, now I'm gonna do, I'll do a flush on half the tank once it reaches over that and here's a flush. And it all is closed. And since the bowl is at a low water line, I'll just put that back in and did my thing. Hold on, I don't even know where the little <laughs> this thing popped off. Um, I'm gonna have to kind of shove this down the tube now. But um, yeah, overall, this is a really good toilet. Uh, I apologize. It's <laughs> I apologize for all the weather in the background. Um, again, I need. I really do need to get these videos out for you, and the rain's not gonna stop me from doing what I love. So um, yeah, hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, leave y'all's comments down below. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.